Hey there, beautiful people. So in this video, we're going to be talking about naming acids specifically. Now, as I mentioned before, naming bases is very straightforward because it is straight up how we've named negative ions before. Take the positive ion, add the hydroxide, and that's the name, like sodium hydroxide. Any other base that we use, like ammonia, is going to have a common name, like ammonia. And so that's not going to follow any rules. It'll have to be given to you. So we're just going to focus on acids. So there are three rules when it comes to acid, and it's all going to apply to the negative ion that's attached to the hydrogen. So remember that hydrogen, I, we're always looking for hydrogen ions when we do this. So here's rule number one. If the anion, the negative ion, ends with IDE, you're going to put hydro on the beginning, and you're going to put ic acid on the end. For example, HCl, Cl is chloride. So this becomes hydrochloric acid. So the IDE comes off and ic acid gets put into its place. This can apply to anything that is typically binary. So anything that is IDE on the end will become hydro something ic acid, like hydroiotic acid or hydrophosphoric acid. Number two. If the anion, the negative ion, ends in ITE, so like sulfite, nitrite, phosphite, remove the ending and add OUS acid, OS acid, to the end of the ion. For example, SO3 is sulfurite, so, I'm sorry, is sulfite, and so therefore this becomes sulfurous acid. Notice no hydro on the front. Even though the hydrogen is there, no hydro is added to this. The only time you're going to see hydro is in the ic acids. And then lastly, number three, if the anion ends in ATE, remove the ending, add ic acid to the end. Now notice, no hydro. So NO3, which is nitrate, you add the hydrogen to the front, you get nitric acid. Notice no hydro. So both the IDEs and the ATEs are both going to have ic acid. Hydroic acid tells you it's an IDE, binary acid. Um, no hydro in the front tells you it's an ATE. It comes from an ATE ion. Let's look at some examples. Now, it's best on this to watch a couple because I'm going to do one naming and one writing and then pause the video and come back and try to see if your answers match my answers. Like do this on your own and then come back. So let's look at this. Now you're gonna need your ion chart in front of you when you do these. So when I look up BR on the chart, I can see that BR is bromide. So if this is bromide, then I'm gonna take off the IDE and I'm gonna add ic acid. And of course, because it's an IDE, I'm going to add hydro to the front. So this becomes hydro bromic acid. Okay, let's do the next one. So HClO4. I know when I look at my ion chart that ClO4 is perchlorate. So I go to my chart, I'm sorry, I go to my rules and I see that eight gets taken off and gets added ic acid instead. So this becomes perchloric acid. Now I'm gonna jump down. So let's do the one at the bottom, carbonic acid. Now I don't see a hydrogen in front, so it's not gonna be HC. So I've gotta look for something that has an what my rule is to follow ic acid. So ic acid is eight. So I look at my ion chart and I notice that carbonate exists. So carbonate is CO3 with a negative two charge. I'm going to add hydrogen to the front of it. I know that hydrogens are plus one. So since hydrogen is plus one and this is negative two, a little two is going to come down here and I'm going to get rid of my charges. So this is the formula, H2CO3, is the formula for carbonic acid. Now, at this point, I want you to stop the video, try to do the rest of these on your own, unpause, and see what you came up with and if they match mine.
I'm going to keep going through. Here we go. Let's come back to the ones I skipped. So I know this H is out by itself. That's my acidic hydrogen. So I'm looking on my ion chart for the rest of this. This is acetate. So I see the ATE. I'm crossing out the ATE. And I'm going to add ic acid. So this becomes acetic acid. Also known as vinegar. Acetic acid is vinegar. Now, phosphoric acid. I don't see a hydrogen in front. I'm sorry, I don't see a hydro in front. So I know that I'm looking for an eight, something that has phosphate, phosphorate, phosphate, something like that. And I look up and I see phosphate. And phosphate is PO3, sorry, PO4 with a three minus. I'm going to add my acidic hydrogen to the front of it. So my three is going to come down here, and then I'm going to get rid of my charges. So it's H3PO4. Now to the right-hand side. The right-hand side is bases. So I don't have to worry about my rules for acids. And I know they're bases because I see the OH. So now I just look up on the ion chart for Na. I look up on the char chart for OH. And I know that OH is hydroxide. So this just becomes sodium hydroxide. Coming to my next example. CA is calcium. OH is still hydroxide. Notice the number of hydroxides is not important. I could have two, I could have three, I could have four. It doesn't matter. It's still just hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. Now I go and I look up for strontium hydroxide and I have to write the formula. So I know from my ion chart that strontium is S2+. I know hydroxide is OH minus. So I'm going to Put my thing in parentheses. I'm going to bring the two down here, and it's going to come outside the parentheses. Do I have to include the parentheses? Yes, I do, because I want two hydroxides. I don't want two H's. I want two OH's. So I have to put a parentheses, and I have to put the two on the outside. And that's how you name and form acids and bases.